What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and in this video I'm going to talk to you guys about how many calories should you eat in a day? Oh wait, wrong channel. What's going on guys? So in this video, this is going to be a short video, okay? <laughs> so this video is going to be about the King's Guard Lance, the beam rifle. So as we know, there's two ultimate beam rifles. I already covered the other one. So if you want to check that one out, it's on the channel, go peep at that. But I decided, all right, we covered that one. Let's go ahead and cover this other one. Maybe this one will be really freaking good. So I went ahead and grinded it out. And you will be surprised on what I think about it. So anyways, guys, before we get all started, I just want to remind you, hey, subscribe to the channel. I'll be doing a lot of grinding out here for y'all. So uh, <clears throat> subscribe if you want to, that is. Anyways, without wasting time, let's just get straight into this. All right, so we got the King's Guard Lance right here, as you can see. Now, it looks aesthetically nice. I'll, I'll give it that. It looks pretty cool. The fancy little looking uh, beam rifle. But I want to go ahead and go over, like we always do, go over the unique ability and the base stats of the weapon first. So the unique ability is called Guardian. So aiming activates preview mode. And when canceling the aim, deactivates preview mode. When firing while aiming, it deploys a, the unique ability Guardian Lance on the terrain and consumes a set amount of ammo upon deployment. The deployed Guardian Lance lasts for a set amount of time and hitting Guardian Lance deals damage to nearby enemies. Each time the deployed Guardian Lance is hit, its duration and range is slightly increased. So, that's uh, that. Now, let's talk about what this bad boy does. So, bas basic information is the rounds per magazine is reduced by 10. Okay, not too horrible. Now, the Guardian Lance, the ability once you place the thing down. Ammo cost upon installation, so it's going to cost you six bullets or six energy, I don't know, um, to put down the little thing. And I'll show you what all that looks like. So, And then the duration is three seconds base, and then the uh, duration increase per hit is 0.1 of a second. Max duration is six seconds, so it can only be out there for six seconds max. Now, additional damage. Firearm damage times 6%. Damage intervals is a every 0.11 seconds. And the damage range is 3 meters. And um, the damage range can increase upon hit by 0.1 meters. And that's all we got. There is no max limit on the range. So, now that we got that, let's go ahead and look at the base stats of this weapon. So, the base stats of this weapon, the King's Guard Lance. So we have a fire attack of 7,839, a fire rate of 545, a 45 round magazine, and a 2.1 second reload. The critical hit rate on this is 11%, so that's pretty low. Um, not the lowest, but it's pretty low. Uh, your firearm critical hit damage is a 1.7 times multiplier. And then we have a weak point damage multiplier of 1. Hit fire accuracy is 98.8 .8 and aim down shot accuracy is 100. It might want to be 100. It's a beam, you know, so there's that. Now I want to talk about what stats we rolled on this. Honestly, I didn't even try to like roll this one out. I just did one little roll and left it at whatever it was. So we got recoil, bonus attack versus order of truth, magazine size and bonus for, uh, yeah, damage versus Colossus. So as you've seen right here, uh, there's only two slots that are catalyzed and there's nothing else. Well, now you're probably wondering, okay, wait, how is this a weapon review if you didn't even invest in it? That you can't really tell how great the weapon is. Well, you're right. So we just put on the basics for increasing damage with these two mods. And then we went ahead and put on this charge speed. You can take this off and test out other things if you want, whatever. I right, look, we'll take this off and put on magazine. How about that? because uh, I do want to show you something. And there's a reason why I didn't do any of this, right? And I'll show you, whatever, we don't need any of this. So, let's check it out. We're gonna go ahead and spawn some enemies, but instead of one, we are going to do the basic. Uh, well, instead of the basic one, we're gonna go ahead and put a full group on, and then we'll put them in that formation. And we're gonna turn invincibility off, because what we want to see is what the damage is looking like for this unique ability. So, 
Before we start showing you damage, let me look. Let me show you the unique, unique ability. When you aim, you'll see this little thing right here, right? And you hear, you can hear a sound. Let me stop talking. Maybe you can hear it. I don't know if you if you caught that, but it makes a little sound. That, that doesn't mean anything. I just, it's interesting. Now, once you place it down by shooting, there you go. And it's just, it's just there. And you've seen that little ring around it, right? See? Now, look. Let me reload. Let me get some more ammo, too. All right, so, all right, we put this down, and then you start shooting it. Now, you see the range is slightly increasing. Yeah, look at that. So now, you're probably wondering, well, what's that damage looking like? First, we're not going to uh, shoot, or we're not going to put the thing down. We're just going to shoot without aiming. I just want to show you what the base damage of this weapon is. Remember, there isn't no severe um, investments into here. We just have our basic, you know, two firearm attacks here. Now, remember, our crit is not too great, and our weak point damage is also not great, right? So if we're talking about how much raw damage, we're already at the max limit um, for what we're going to get for raw damage with action and reaction and rifle and reinforcement. So let's see what the damage is looking like. All right, now we're at three bars. What are we looking at? Is that 11,000? Yeah, 11,000 damage. That's, yeah. <laughs> Anywho, let me uh, respawn those two right there. And then uh, we're gonna go ahead and look at the unique ability, right? Because I guess that's pretty much what this weapon was designed for, was for AOE crowd control type of deal is my assumption. So let's go ahead and put this down right here and just start beaming it. All right, look how much damage it's doing to them though. Tell me, tell me. P pl no, let's do it again. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. 900, 1000, 1600. Here, look, I'm, I'm just going to keep it a whole buck with you. This is already going to be a short video. This thing sucks. There is no reason to put investments into this. You've seen the horrendous damage that it's doing when you do use unique ability. What's the point in giving us that and telling us to shoot that beam thing to get 6% of our firearm damage? And you can only increase your firearm damage so much. Like, what, what, what are we looking at? Let's see what our fire down. 15,000. And we're only getting 6% of that per every... No, dude, that's horrible. You see, a full clip doesn't do anything to these guys. Let me show you one more time. We're gonna... Re we're gonna... Uh, we're gonna kill them. And then respawn them all. Now, I want you to see their health. All right, you see? Full health. Now, I want you to look at their health by the time I empty this whole 55-round mag. Look at that. Didn't even do half of the shields. Didn't even do half of the shields. That is so insane. That's, oh my goodness, dude, that's trash. Now let's let's see if we put crit on here, right? Can those, can those uh, things uh, crit? Well, let's see. Or can that pillar crit? So we're gonna look. So I'm gonna try to put as much crit chance as we can here. Well, I don't really care for crit damage right now, but crit chance. Uh, where's... Oh, I don't have one leveled up, do I? Dang. Okay. I can't put that on there because I don't have it leveled up. I, we'll put it on there anyways. Alright, so we got that. Yeah, it's looking like that's all we're going to be able to do. Alright, cool. So we'll put this, a little bit of crit damage, whatever, whatever, whatever. Now, let's go ahead and save that. Now, let's see if it quits. Now, we know that it's going to be 6% of our base damage, and our base damage is only 7,000, so the numbers are going to be horrendously trash, but we're here just to see if that can crit or not. So, let's go ahead and put it down again. They're already full health. It looks like it can crit. If I'm... if I, Just pay attention. It looks like it can crit. Yeah, you see? Looks like we are critting. I don't know. Look. 
Oh man, dude, that's. Oh my goodness. Let maybe if I shoot in a different location. What? what? No, it can't hit that. Does it do more damage anywhere else? No. No, no, you, no, no, no. It's just garbage. Oh my goodness. So let's, maybe I'm missing something, right? Let's, let's go ahead and look at this one more time. Let's, let's look at this one more time. The unique ability. So we put down the, the guardian lance on the terrain or whatever. All right, cool. Now we shoot the guardian lance and extends the duration and the range. All right, cool. So what does the guardian lance do? Takes ammo three seconds, extend by one second, max duration six seconds. Oh, extends by 0.1 of a second. Additional, uh, that's the part that doesn't make sense. It says additional damage, firearm damage 6%. That's not, it's not giving us any additional damage. It's only, it seems like it's only doing 6% of our damage. I don't, well, probably obviously more than 6% because there's, you know, you know, but I don't, I don't understand where what this what the, this is just trash dude this is actually garbage you know i don't want to be like hating on this to the max look at that look at that dude that that's horrible let's see if we can kill level ones with it at least Let, let's see if we can do that my goodness all right so this is what we're gonna do. Let's go ahead and, oh, I didn't mean to take that off. Let's go put that back on and we'll go ahead and put on rifling reinforcement, action and reaction. And then we're gonna call it a day there. You know what? Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't have weak point damage. Okay, so let's see. Oh yeah, also you can do it from pretty far. That's the, that's the furthest range. But anyways. <clears throat> All right, so let's see. The reason why I'm going so close is because I want to make sure I'm hitting every shot. Crap. Got Bunny out here killing stuff. You know what? It doesn't even matter. All right, let's see. We're going to put it right here. Okay, we can kill level ones. <laughs> yeah, that, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Like... To keep it a stack, just don't get this. The only reason why you want to farm this out is just for mastery. It is absolutely abysmal. It's garbage. Actually, one more thing. I know I just said this is over, but we're gonna do one more thing, and obvi and I'm gonna switch to we're gonna switch to Glay for this one. Okay, watch. Let me let's switch to Glay. All right, now that we got Glay, where is it at? King's Lance. <clears throat> Alright, so we have Glay on here. This is, I'm working on the Glay build, so this isn't a final. But look, so we're going to use Predator Instinct. Okay? Look at that. 21% firearm attack. Let's put these guys back to level 100. I'm not kidding when I say this thing is actually garbage, and it's not worth investing in. Like, it's, it's really not. You can tell if something's worth investing in based off of how it performs at, you know, level 100 with nothing with no investments in there but this one is actually dog horrendous so this is what we're gonna do we're gonna pop this garbage oh you gotta be kidding me Even with Glade, dude, it's just, it's just horrible. Let's see if uh, we don't do that stupid ability. With Glay, you can't infinitely increase your range because that pillar thing's max duration is only six seconds. Um, eh, oh man, dude, it sucks. It freaking sucks. Um, 
maybe the only worthwhile thing is to just to never aim just hit fire shoot and maybe i mean it'll do decent when i say decent still bad but just don't get this weapon please if you need it for mastery get it or just to say all right i have it do not get this weapon and put anything on it don't put any uh act energy activators don't put any catalysts nothing this weapon sucks do not waste your time so anyways guys <laughs> that's the end of this video <laughs> it sucks that i had to completely dog walk this weapon but hey you know i was gonna say all right look i'll just do the investment for you guys so you guys can see but once I got it and I realized, oh my goodness, no amount of investment is going to make this thing any kind of good at all. I said, I'm not doing it. I'm just going to let you guys know this is super trash. It looks cool, but it's super garbage. So don't don't waste your time. Farm it for uh, mastery and that's it. Yeah, and that's it for the video, guys. So I don't really know how you can like the video, but if I saved you time because you thought about grinding for this, hey, subscribe to the channel. I, I you know, I got you. <laughs> that's what I'm here for, to grind the stuff out that's dog trash so that way uh, you don't have to. You can see me use it and you don't got to. But yeah, anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching. Drop a comment. What do you think? Do you think with investment that this might be half decent or do you think all the way around it's trash? And I, you know what I think because I told you. So, until next time.